Hey everyone, in today's video I wanted to share my Sephora's friends and family sale haul. Uh, if you haven't heard about the sale, it's going on right now. It ends on November 2nd and it's online only. And what you do is you go on this website, sephora.com slash friends. They'll ask you for your email address and once you submit that, they'll generate a code for you. And you can only use the code once until the end of the sale, which is again November 2nd, 2011, and you can save 20% off. So um, if you haven't heard about it, you still have a chance if you, you know, get to watch the video before it's over. Picked up a bunch of polishes. Honestly, I don't need any nail polish, and I definitely won't need any more for a while. And um, I got these two glitter top coats. Um, they're Sephora by OPI. The silver one is called Flurry Up. And the gold one is called Only Gold For Me. And the glitter in here is different shapes. You have a very fine glitter and then you have the chunkier glitter that you probably can see right off the bat. So you're not going to get an intense opaque glitter nail. Um, it, you're just going to get a sheer coat and you know they call it a top coat, so you just layer it over your nail polish. Then we have Ella Masca. So I picked up this one over the summer, and that's what urged me to get some more colors that I've been wanting to try. And this one is called Rare. This is the one I picked up over the summer. Crazy highlighter, you know, yellow on your nails. Really intense, but I really love the finish. So I picked up two more. These are a different finish because this is more of a cream finish. doesn't have any shimmer in it at all. But these are shimmery and metallic colors. This blue one is called Phallic, which, you know, like I said before, you know, they're taking a page from NARS with the very interesting names that they give their colors. Um, so this one is really pretty. It has almost like a fuchsia and blue glitter to it. I can't wait to see how it looks on the nails because on the bottle it looks very pretty. Uh, then I picked up this one. It's called Viridian. And this one is almost a, like a duochrome. It's like green, but if you turn the bottle it reflects blue. So I think depending on the lighting it's going to change how it looks. And I think that would be a lot of fun to try. Then I got... I actually have another Sephora by OPI. I got um, Blasted Black, which is their shatter polishes. And I haven't worn any shatter polishes before. I'm not quite sure how I feel about them, but I figured let me pick up the basic black. I have others in other colors, but I didn't have the black one. So I'm going to try that out. It might be nice to try once my nails are chipping. I can use that to refresh the manicure so it looks like it's on purpose. <laughs> so that's what I figured that's how I would try it. And then finally I picked up this um, nail polish. It's by Nails Inc. It's a new line that they're carrying in Porchester Square. So it's one of those taupey nude kind of polishes. Um, I think it's going to be really really nice. A really great neutral. Uh, then I got this eyeshadow palette. If you've seen the swatches on my hand, um, it's the Charlotte Ronson uh, eyeshadow palette in Nicole. Here it is, and I'm wearing that on my eyes. In case you were wondering, in the inner corner, I'm wearing the lighter color. I followed that with this second color right here, and I did that on the inner half of my lids. Followed that with this more of a coppery color on the outer half. And then on the lash line, I did a black eye pencil, smoked it out with a brush, and then layered this sparkly brown on top. I hope the camera is capturing some of that shimmer. This is um, shim um, has sparkles in it. These are more of a frost finish. And again, I swatched them on the back of my hand because I was taking pictures for my blog, musingsofacitygirl.com, in case you were wondering. And um, another item for the eyes was a mascara that I really wanted to try. It's called Shocking by YSL. It's, you know, they're faux, they're faux sills, but amped up. I haven't tried the regular faux sills, so 
Um, I guess it would have been good to try that first so that I can have an opinion as to how they compare to each other. But I'm wearing that on my lashes right now and I love it. But I always love mascaras when I first get them. But you have to, you know, use them for a few days and see how they respond. You know, after you get some air in there, they can totally change. So, um, you know, very dramatic, voluminous separation. And the brush isn't one of those plastic brushes. It's more of a traditional uh, material. Next up, lip stuff. I have one of the items on right now, and it's the Illamasqua Intense Lip Gloss in Move. I've purchased this before. This is my second tube. The first tube, it was in my purse all the time, my go-to color that wasn't my, you know, standard, you know, look of death with the nude <laughs> lipsticks. So this actually gives me life. Um, so I really like this rosy kind of a color, you know, really nice. Um, then I got some other lip stuff. I got, well this I didn't get in the sale because I wanted to get it on the sale but they didn't have this color on the website. But it's the Kat Von D Foiled Love Lipstick in Adora. I really wanted this color because it was the reddest one that they had in the store where I saw it. So I was like, okay, I saw this lipstick. I actually went to the store to get ideas of what I should get. And I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I need this. And um, yeah, they didn't have it online so I went back to the store to get it. So I'm going to try it on so you can see it. This is what Adora looks like. Here it is in the tube. So it has a kind of a metallic look to it. So like it says, it's a foiled look. But it feels matte on the lips. So you have to be careful. Make sure your lips are very well moisturized or else this can tend to be a little drying. Um, when I swatched it on the back of my hand in the store, it felt drying on my hand. And, you know, I just normally, you know, there I go making noise, dropping things. Normally, I don't wear anything frosty or metallic, but something drew me to this and I had to try it. And I really love the look. I think it would be really fun for me to wear during the holidays. It's very festive, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, the other nail um, nail polish, the other lipstick that I got was the Rouge Pure Couture by YSL. Here it is. I really love their packaging. The only thing is that you get your fingerprints all over it. Um, here's a little box, but it's really luxurious. And this is number 13. It's kind of like an orangey... Um, red. I mean it's more orange than anything and I got this because um, somebody asked Kourtney Kardashian on Twitter what lipstick um, she was wearing in one of the episodes of the Kim's fairy tale wedding special on E! and she said YSL number 13. YSL makes different lipsticks but I'm assuming it was this one because they do wear a lot of orange um, so you know. Do I need any other excuse? I've never tried a YSL lipstick, so um, that's how I came up with what color I wanted to try first. So I'm going to try that one on too. I'm wearing number 13 right now, so here it is again in the tube. And from trying it on my lips, it definitely just glides right on. Very, very pigmented, very grown-up version of an orange lipstick. Very grown-up. Um, it's not like a neon orange, very shocking. So it's a more subtle way of wearing orange lipstick. So I hope this isn't too messy because I'm trying to do it quickly for you. Um, then I picked up some Illamasqua blushes. And this one I picked up a couple of months ago. And it caused me to get some more. It's called Tweak. And it's a very bright pink, very intense color. Uh, very beautiful on dark skin. I can't even tell you how amazing this is going to look if you have a dark skin tone. I was so impressed with this. It's a matte kind of a finish. So impressed that I wanted to get more and I picked up two in my haul. The first one is a corally orangey color. It's called Excite. It is gorgeous. I'm wearing it on my cheeks 
And, you know, for my skin tone, those peachy, orangey blushes look great. They look amazing. So I picked that one up. Then I picked up this other blush in Morale. And this one, I think this is a new launch. And this one, as opposed to the other two that I have, this one is kind of a shimmery, frosty, metallic-y kind of a finish. And here, I'll swatch it. It's a really gorgeous, like, metallic, kind of a um, plummy, pinky color. I think this is going to be amazing on a darker skin as well. And, you know, I don't mind the bright colors. I just use a lighter hand. So that's Excite, the corally one. And then this is the one I got a while ago, Tweak. So you can see how bright Tweak is. That's Tweak right here. Then finally, I um, got my 100 point perk um, for being a beauty insider. And I picked up this, which I've tried before and loved. And it was also like a sample with my mom's Clarisonic. When she got her Clarisonic, it had some like bonus items in it and this was in it. I used it because she's like pretty, you know, standard on the skincare that she does. She doesn't really experiment. And it's the Peter Thomas Roth anti-aging cleansing gel so anti-aging when I hear anti-aging I'm like I it's not time for me to use anti-aging stuff but I decided to try it um, because it had glycolic acid salicylic acid specifically salicylic acid because I had some like bumpy situations right here in between my brows and around my hairline which can happen from the oils in your hair you can like break out a little bit and I use this and it really helped control the oils around that area. Uh, so I really liked it. So I decided to pick it up and try it again. Uh, it is a little bit drying on my skin. So I have to make sure I moisturize right after. But if I'm having some problem situations that I need to control, this would work really well, especially with my Clarisonic. It's really going to clean those pores out and, uh, you know, put everything in check. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some ideas if you were wondering, you know, what you wanted to get in your haul if you haven't picked anything up yet. And if you have any questions, let me know in a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!